What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in for another week. As many of you know, we're in the midst of an everyday juggler giveaway where you can win some John Nord's juggling balls. Some of you have opted to enter the contest by subscribing to my email list, but you haven't clicked the confirmation link that was sent to you in an email yet, and so you're not actually subscribed, and MailChimp hasn't told me who you are yet. So make sure you click that confirmation link so that I'll know who you are and you can win those balls. As you've already seen, we've been watching a video from Komi and Masaki. In this video, they do some contact juggling work with balancing and contortion. A lot of really cool stuff in this video and a great partnership. Make sure you watch the whole video at Komi's channel. This next video is from Ali L Jam where he does some nice three ball work. I couldn't help but notice that he's juggling to the theme music of the podcast serial and therefore it made me sit in my seat for the entire video. Great video, make sure you watch it. Victor Key posted a video of a live performance he calls horizontal juggling from the 37th festival of the Circus of Tomorrow. I'm sure many of you have seen acts like this where the balls are suspended from the ceiling and look like they're floating. They're pushed around into intricate patterns and it just looks awesome. As always, it's a pleasure to see flawless live performances from Victor Key. I know I just featured a yo-yo video last week, but when I saw this one, I couldn't resist. This video was posted by Yo Tricks and features Brian Jardin. The way he's able to get such a cool looking effect is by tying a die to one end of the string. So when he lets go of that end of the string and grabs the center, it looks like two objects orbiting around each other. When I see videos like this, it makes me want to go find my yo-yo. This video was posted by Kate Santos where he balances a pot on his head and then does tricks. Pretty amazing stuff. Kellen Quinn posted a compilation video of him juggling all kinds of different places. Really love this section of the video where he's just freestyling with some clubs, having fun, and incorporating all sorts of tricks. Really great video all around. Make sure you watch the whole thing at his channel. This video is from Kendama USA and features Wyatt Bray doing some Kendama tricks. What I love about Wyatt's Kendama play is that he's super quick, but with the sweet editing and slow motion in this video, you're able to get a closer look at what he's doing. As usual, this kind of Kendama manipulation blows my mind. Asidra Silviera posted a video of him doing some ball spinning. If you're not too familiar with ball spinning, this is a great introduction to what you can work towards as Isidro does all kinds of variations of ball spinning. Really impressed with all he can do, he's a well-rounded ball spinner. Maurizio Orlando posted a promo video for his live performance act. It's a pretty short video featuring primarily three ball work, some four ball work, and some body throws stuff. There's some pretty cool stuff in here, but what really gets me on this video is the editing. Super great editing, kind of makes you want to watch the video a few times. Next up, the most recent IJA Tricks of the Month video featuring Naughty Halu. I was super stoked to see him featured in the Tricks of the Month video as he's the first Ethiopian to be so. I love how the IJA is continuing to try to be more and more international. A couple things I like about this video is that he is juggling to distinctively Ethiopian music and he's throwing some dance moves in there, moving his legs around those balls he's bounce juggling. The most impressive part of this video is at the very end so make sure you check out the whole video at the IJA channel. This cardistry video features Vinny Margot, and to be honest with you, I'm just putting it in here because I love cardistry. Enjoy some juggling with the fingers. Oscar Lindenberg posted a video of his progress from February. Oscar's a young juggler and he's excelling at the craft very quickly as you can see from this video. I wanted to post this video because I like the camera angles and I think there's something cool about silhouette juggling. Also, Oscar, great job practicing with the balance. Keep it up.
Chris Blessing posted a video called Juggling Art where he juggles in front of different works of art. He showcases all kinds of different stuff he can do, but in this video you're going to see some boxes, four ball multiplexing, and blind behind the back. Make sure you watch the whole video to see some more cool stuff. Luke Davis flashes 10 balls while balancing a club. That's sweet. Clark Surrey posted a video called Fighting Gravity where he shows off all kinds of stuff he can do. So much great stuff in here from 4 ball mills mess, 5 ball sight swap, 7 balls, and 5 clubs. Really great video, make sure you check out the whole thing at his channel. This brings you into my pick of the week featuring Marta Paley where we get some sweet cigar box juggling mixed with some ballet dancing. This is a really artistic and creative take on juggling. The music and film editing gives you the impression that this video was shot in times past. I can't help but think that this is a tribute to the jugglers who have come before us, those who have shaped juggling into what it is today, a universal expression of beauty and innovation. Make sure you check out this whole video at her channel. What's up everybody, I'm Sean. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you tell your juggler friends about it so they can see some cool stuff too. First, I just wanted to apologize for not getting my John Nord's review video up as soon as I said I would. It is posted now, so make sure you head over there and try to win a set of beanbags. Early next week, I'm going to be posting an interview I did with Jeff Peden. Really great interview, gives you some insight on performance and also what it's like to plan a juggling festival. Don't forget about the interviews I did with Lucas Adverse and David Aiken, both really great. And finally, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything that's coming. All right, that's all for now. So until next time, keep on juggling. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, be sure to support the channel. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe.